Hello everybody, today I'd like to show how to use Microscope Image Browser together with Fiji. So if you go to MIB website, here in the download section there is a chapter which is called System Requirements. The System Requirements section has information about uh, how to configure MIB to, uh, to work uh, with uh, some external packages. One of these packages is Fiji, so if you just click on this Fiji uh, link here, you will jump to the Fiji section. So, uh, uh, MIB can use Fiji uh, 3D Viewer to visualize volumes and models. It is po also possible to uh, organize direct data exchange between MATLAB and Fiji. And um, uh, unfortunately, there are a few limitations. Uh, one of the limitations is such that Fiji 3D Viewer is not compatible with Mac OS. And the second limitation, is for some reasons, it is not possible to uh, exchange 16-bit images. <coughs> okay, so uh, what should be done if you want to use it? So first you need to download Fiji, or I already downloaded, so I have it here. Then you need to start Fiji and update it. So I will just double-click on Fiji and uh, go to Help, Update, and then we update Fiji first. It may take a while. Okay, so now when the Fiji is finally uh, updated, we can we can actually close it. So next thing is uh, that we have to start MATLAB. In the Fiji directory where the Fiji is installed, there is a folder which is called scripts, and we need we need to add the scripts subfolder into MATLAB search path. So to do that, we go to Fiji Properties, uh, copy place where Fiji is installed, and then we go to MATLAB Home, Set Path, Add Folder, and then we add this, this directory, and uh, actually not Fiji directory, but directory where the scripts are. And we save it for future use. So when it's done, we start. We are starting then MIB and open a data set. So the first thing I'll try to do, I'll try to uh, visualize this 3D volume using Fiji. To do that, I go to the menu, File, Render Volume with Fiji. And when I press it, uh, MATLAB and Fiji are trying to uh, establish connection between each other. And uh, for the first time it doesn't work, or it may not really work even for the second time, so you have to make sure that installation was successful. The problem could be uh, due to the fact that uh, during this installation uh, Fiji is actually trying to write a few Java libraries into MATLAB uh, subdirectories. And uh, these subdirectories are actually mentioned here and you, you need to make sure that these uh, subdirectories are uh, open for writing for users. In my case they already were opened so the installation just went smoothly. When it's done, uh, the only thing I have to do, I have to restart MATLAB. So MATLAB is now restarted. I'm starting MIB. Then I load the dataset. And then I can try to visualize this data set with Fiji 3D Viewer. So I go to Menu, File, Render Volume with Fiji. Uh, then this dialog appears, and the, uh, the first entry in this dialog asks you whether I want to downsample the data set. So, for example, for now I can keep it uh, without downsampling, and whether I want to apply some smoothing. Uh, the third option is Invert. So if you work with electron microscopy images, then you have to invert the images so that your black becomes white for visualization. If you work with light microscopy, then you have to put zero here. 
and the last uh, field is for transparency threshold you can leave it as it is because you, you can always adjust it later in the feature so now the volume is uh, I'm sending the volume to Fiji so the Fiji started and the volume was transferred to Fiji 3d viewer so that they can visualize it and see how it looks uh, there are a number of ways how it could be also modified uh, with the colors and some other things uh, but uh, from the interesting things you can also adjust the threshold and then there is this kind of slider which allows you to adjust the thresholding coefficient and eliminate the intensities that are uh, below this number and this way you can basically do maybe some kind of some better uh, visualization of the volumes uh, in addition it is also also possible to visualize models so I load the, uh, a model for this data set uh, uh, I can visualize models like one by one so for example I can set this uh, nuclear envelope or ER Press right, press right mouse button and select show as volume in Fiji then again whether I want to uh, downsample it and then this, uh, this data set is sent to Fiji so I can see it as the volume render uh, also in this Fiji 3D viewer I can change the visualization to some other mode for example surface and uh, in the beginning yeah well you, you can't see anything because there's no really proper color it's like it's like a black so you need to go to the edit change color and uncheck this use default color and use the sliders to make it color we like uh, it is also possible to visualize all materials of the model so I check the show all then go to the menu models render model as Fiji volume then the question whether I want to uh, downsample it so I'll just do it for now and then the model that we have here is visualized in Fiji and then you can also kind of see it from all different things and change some of the visualization properties uh, in addition to this uh, the other thing which you can do you can exchange data between uh, Fiji and MIB so to do that you need to start the Fiji connect panel uh, in the directory contents so there are two combo boxes that regulate the uh, appearance of the lower left and lower right panels so in the second uh, the second combo box defines the appearance of the lower right panel and I select here Fiji connect and in this Fiji there are like two main buttons uh, to start and stop Fiji so I press start Fiji to, uh, to start it and then uh, the next one I can define what kind of uh, data type I want to send to Fiji so first I want to send image so I select image and press export then I can name it press OK and then this image is now in, uh, in Fiji I can do all kinds of different things in Fiji which I can't maybe do in MATLAB for example I can well. I don't know, I can probably make it binary and then I can actually import I select image and then I import it back from uh, from, uh, from Fiji and then I get this uh, kind of binarized image also if I want to send models to Fiji I can also uh, go to this uh, my dataset select model here and press export and then I see it here so actually I can't see it here because uh, the model is stored that we have four materials so the maximal intensity of this dataset is four so to see it I need to go to image adjust brightness and contrast and move the second slider to the left so that the actual model will uh, appear um, also what I can do I can run the, some kind of macro comments for Fiji directly from MIB so for example okay I have this uh, this model I can flip it in Z uh, direction so I just type this the comment I want and then press run so it was flipped and then I can uh, 
import it back from Fiji to MATLAB. So select the model, press continue. And now the actual dataset was flipped in Z. So the slice number one was actually previously slice number 75 and the other way around. Um, it's possible also to write a sequence of the comments and put it in a text file and then you can run this file and uh, do some kind of batch processing in Fiji. Uh, what to do if uh, this uh, Fiji Connect or this visualization is not working? Then the, the best way is actually uh, you can let's see. So for example, if we want to visualize this model, we can save this model as TIFF. So we go to the uh, show again. So we go to menu models, save model as. Uh, let's make a TIFF format, TIFF model. Define the file name. Press save. Uh, the first dialog that pops up is kind of asking whether you want to save it as one single file or a sequence of 2D files. So uh, for now I save it as 3D TIFF. Then I start Fiji. Then I go to File, Open. I navigate to the place where I have the data set. Just double click on it and I open it. Again, we can't see anything because uh, the intensity, the, uh, the brightness should be adjusted. So I can go like this. And then I need to set the uh, voxel size. So the image properties, I need to say that my units are nanometers and they are like 13, 13 and 30. X, uh, Y and Z. When it's done, uh, I can you, I can go and visualize it in 3D Viewer. So this is the kind of this model that we directly imported uh, from the TIFF file. Okay, uh, with that I think uh, it's more or less clear how these two programs are working together and it would be maybe quite useful and they, this way they basically complement each other. Alright, thank you very much.